But today I'm going to prove that Jesus is God himself and the son of God using science, scripture, and a prism. Oh, so dang it, it's a cloud. Can't see nothing. <laughs> Lord, move the cloud. <laughs> I need that to break, cause it's not. <laughs> get out the way! Get out the way, Jesus! <laughs> it will dispel all darkness, and that anyone under the sound of my voice will come into your marvelous light. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So most people struggle with. How is Jesus God and the Son of God? And the scripture that we're coming from today is 1 John 1 and 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So just remember that God is light and there is no darkness in him. There is no evil in God. So we're going to use a prism to demonstrate what is in light and particularly white light. And also the materials used to do this experiment, you can use a prism, you can use a diamond ring, you can also use a mirror and a pool or a cup of water or a, C a disc CD. So if you would like a list where you can do this demonstration or illustration, it's in the description box below with all the details at theblessingreport.com. So when you use a prism to shine white light, the light beam and light waves are refracted within the prism. And when they come out, they are separated into a rainbow. As you can see within the light, the white light was red light, yellow light, orange light, green light, blue light, indigo, and purple. But remember, God is light. God is the accumulation, the summation, the culmination of the whole entirety of the light, the white light. But within white light, within God, were multiple parts. And finally, the red light is not the green light. And the Father is not the Son. The orange light is not the blue light. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. And the indigo is not the green light. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. But remember, the summation of all the different light wavelengths is the white light. The whole part is God. So in these, there are not three different people, but one person of God with three different parts. We are not polytheistic, nor do we serve multiple gods. And this is why John 14 and 6 says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. Why? Because Jesus is God himself. So if you go to the Father, you're going to Jesus. And if you try to go to the Father or you try to go to God, but not through Jesus, that is not God at all because Jesus is God. So you can't know God, you can't know the Father without Jesus Christ, because Jesus is God. So if you'd like to know God and you'd like to know the Father and you'd like your sins to be forgiven and you want to go to heaven and have eternal life in the light and have salvation, all you have to do is come into the Christian faith and believe in the God of the Bible being Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for your sins. And if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your personal Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved and inherit eternal life. And I'd like to showcase two more scriptures illustrating that God is light. And the first one is coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse particular 9. And it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And we're going to the first book of the Bible, Genesis verses one and two. And in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light 
and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So the first thing that God did when he created all of existence and creation is say, let there be light, and he separate the light from the darkness. So remember, God is light, but when we have evil and sin in our lives, that is darkness. So God is pure, he is holy, and he is perfect. So perfect in fact that the Bible calls him a consuming fire. So much so that he can't actually have relationship with us because we have darkness in us. And so all the works of the devil, when it comes to sickness, depression, illness, sexual immorality, greed, lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, all the evil, um, cancer, anything that you can imagine, um, sexual immorality, homosexuality, depression, uh, all that is darkness. All that is sin, um, devils, demons, jinn, all of that has to be separated from us. And so we actually can't have fellowship, um, but by the forgiveness of sin. And it says, where there is no bloodshed, there is no forgiveness of sin. So how can we make sure that our life is full of light and absent of darkness? It's by receiving the finished work of Jesus Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ and his blood sacrificed on the cross, that he took away all of our transgressions, our sins and our iniquities, that we are clean. So I did want to pray that if you have any darkness in your life, if you have any sin, if you are bound with any spirit, that the spirit of the Lord God has been given to us to preach good tidings and to the meek. Um, he has anointed us to set the captive free. So I am praying that all darkness will come out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ by his blood and that you will just turn on the light and become the lights of the world for the light has come into the world and the darkness could not overcome it and could not comprehend it. So we thank you, Lord, for the life of your son and the light of your word being the Bible, the living word, the living God. And we thank you that we have come out of darkness into your marvelous light. And anyone who is not saved, who has not made Jesus Christ their personal Lord and Savior under the sound of my voice, it has not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I declare right now that the spirit of the living God binds up the strong man of the devil, of Satan, any demons, any jinn in their life any false religion, that they will come into your marvelous light, being a Christian, being a born again believer, receiving your Holy Spirit um, through grace and truth, receiving the free gift of salvation in Jesus Christ. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise, um, praying in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the blessed Holy Ghost that they receive the baptism of water and fire of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So if you would like to check out another visual Bible study, make sure to go to the blessroomreport.com and also join our email list for our Bible study. And click on the screen to watch the next video.